Speaking of Sky Showtime, number seven. The countries that Sky Showtime is coming to. On September 20th, Sky Showtime will air Blue Swiss episodes for, uh, from these countries. Denmark, Norway, Sweden, and Finland. Well, by that I mean that they'll have their own dubs there and phrases in those episodes, as well as the Netherlands a little later. And in early 2023, it's also going to... Uh, it's also going to air in Albania, Andorra, Bosnia, and Herga... Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's hard to say, I know. Bulgaria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Hungary, Kosovo, yeah, Montenegro, North Macedonia, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Serbia, Slovakia, Slovenia, and Spain. So those are the countries that Sky Showtime will will upload. Uh, full episodes of Blue Schools and Blue Schools and You on on uh, Sky Showtime. Rick will see them for sure, and we'll see how things work out for those countries with episodes on with episodes on Sky Showtime. Number eight. <clears throat> Talking to Steve Burns on GalaxyCon. Two days after Rick and his mom are going to work out the Italian Paramount Plus thing on September 15th, there's going to be an opportunity where I get to talk to Steve on GalaxyCon. I've been waiting for this for a long time myself, but then I got told by Rick, Donnie, and others that if I were to talk to Steve, I would have to pay money and... Uh, and only have two minutes to, to talk to Steve before my time is up. So Steve, if, if so, Steve, if you're out there listening, if I'm not going to be able to talk on GalaxyCon, I can talk to you here. And as that, I have I have some Blue Swiss videos of my own that I, uh, that you should be happy that I have. I have snack time. I have rhythm and blue. My very first Blue Schools VHS. I have Blue Speak Mystical Movie, the big one, and one that I decided to get for my birthday last year because I wanted to pay tribute to my grandma, who I sadly lost last year. All kinds of signs. I still have great memories of watching this VHS at her house and Grandpa's house too, because he was because he was around at the time. As well. And not only that. I also have. Big Time Rush Season 1. Volume 1. And Volume 2. And Volume 2 is the one that I want. Is the one that I want to talk about. The most of. Because of what episode on here. Big Time Terror. After the theme song. Uh, the season one version, I, uh, I'll quote this scene from Big Time Terror. Do you think you'd be more comfortable in a five-star hotel that's not here? Yeah, I can't stay in any L.A. hotels. Why not? Well, James, I'm a member of the Hotel Unwelcome List, along with Russell Crowe, all the members of Aerosmith, and the original host of Blue's Clues. When I heard Gustavo say that, I was like, huh? And Sammy was shocked too. Uh, the both of us were reenacting Tommy and Dill's huh? Uh, response about stricken from the family tree from the all grown up episode, Brother Can You Spare the Time? Which I have as the first episode on the all grown up old brother DVD. And I care more for the DVD than the VHS. And so if you're wondering about 
uh, Russell Crowe and Aerosmith, I have a couple of things that's related to both of them one by one. The Russell Crowe thing is Gladiator. And yes, I have this on DVD. Plant Battle is mine! Are you entertained? <laughs> that's so funny. And the Aerosmith thing is... Uh, it's one of the songs that's it's one of the songs that's on the soundtrack for Last Action Hero. Yes, I have this movie. On the same day that I was talking to mom about Arnold Schwarzenegger and some things that I know about Last Action Hero, and this kid, uh, Danny Manigan, played by Austin O'Brien as a child, as a child, um. The, uh, the one Aerosmith song that's on the soundtrack here, although I might have listened to this, I'm not sure, is Dream On. And that's not the only song I know that's on the soundtrack. There's ACDC's Big Gun, and no joke, Arnold Schwarzenegger is in the music video. That's very cool. That's not the only ACDC song that I know of. There's also Thunderstruck, which makes me think of a basketball movie with that exact title. On August 24th, I did a lot of Thunderstruck videos with Swinging Twirls to Piggy Bank. Because I wanted to celebrate the anniversary of it. And Kevin Durant, if you're out there listening, I respect your opinion on Thunderstruck. I know that basketball movies have not had the best track record. And Thunderstruck is a victim of that. But I don't care. Because I like it. I might have tripped. Yeah, over the years, I might have treated basketball, or, well, basketball is my favorite sport, but I might have treated Thunderstruck like it's my favorite basketball movie, which it still is. But if you have fun watching a movie like this, then, hey, it's your movie. Just watch it and you'll have fun. And going back to the soundtrack, there's also, well, yeah, if you take a look at the title, Last Action Hero, Tesla did a song about that called Last Action Hero. Sometime in the fall, I'm going to do videos of the Teletubbies walking to the Magic Windmill. Like this one right here. To Last Action Hero, a little part of it. As well as Chris Stapleton's Outlaw State of Mind. Because somebody uploaded... Nine Teletubbies videos in one video. And I was more concerned about that. And also three holiday specials. Or three holiday videos. One about Halloween and two about Christmas. Um, Stay tuned for those, I guess. So going back to talking to Steve Burns. I hope that I'm able to talk to Steve on GalaxyCon. And hopefully I'll be able to say what I just said. And you'll remember all that, and you'll understand what I have for my collection, and for what I wanted to show you. Number nine. The Blue Schools and You live on stage. Rick is surely going to this. I I don't know if, if I really want to do this or not, but I... But I have a life. I do what I do for uploading videos and taking it easy at home and things like that. I did one time go to a Blue Schools uh, live show as a kid just once and I had, a, I had a great time with it. The only thing I remember mostly is, is, the, end credit, is the end credits and some music being played when the show was over and I listened to a familiar music from Rhythm and Blue. The what is Blue Wanna Do on a Rainy Day and Credits. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and, and it was also in in the end credits to this as well. During a compilation of end credits because the the Blue Speak Mystical movie and credits is is four minutes long. Well, a little bit over four minutes. While the end credits for upload new mobile episodes is going to be at maximum three minutes long. 
that it doesn't have to be exactly three minutes, though it can be a little bit under, and I'd be fine with that. Um, but still, I don't know if I really want to do this. I, if I want to, if I want to watch Blue Schools live, I'd rather just be taking it easy and watching it whatever I want to. But still, if there's any Blue Schools live show. I might see it at some point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Rick said that, that there's that there are a few live shows in Florida, including one called Clearwater. I got introduced to that in the first Dolphin Tale movie. I love that movie, as well as the second one. The others Rick mentioned, I, I'm not sure of, all, although I've heard of all those cities. And the number 10 thing is... The Blueprints Pilot... And Blue's Big City Adventure. The Blue Prince pilot is one that a lot of Blue Schools fans really want to see. I first came across about this in the Blue Schools wiki. It showed a couple of pictures. Turns out that this was from some sort of 10-year Blue Schools related thing. Uh, or a Blue Schools flashback special that happened in 2006. And... Uh, and there are some things that, that were there that I remember seeing, like the Blueprints pictures, uh, trying to find the, the, perfect actor, the perfect actor for Joe until they found a perfect one that they went with, Donovan Patton, except his hair was longer than it was on the actual show. And on a clip of something that I don't really want to talk about, it, it they showed a clip of it, and three kids were there, and one of them rang in on it, and nailed it. This also happened in 2005, when a picture of Blue popped up in a clue. Michael Kramer uh, nailed it, and after that, the next round was unkind to him. Al uh, Allison McDonough knew that, and I'm sure Francis Musella and Patrick DeRocher, the winner of that game, both knew it, but they got B on the buzzer. Changing subjects, uh, hopefully the Blueprints pilot will fully be seen. Uh, last year we saw, uh, we saw never before seen clips of it, including a, a Skidoo segment that, or the way Steve Skidooed in the pilot, which, which he used, which he never does on the show, the actual show, and, uh, and the notebook after the first clue, a cup. Same with this, snack time, VHS. Um, and aside from that, hopefully it'll be there for us to see. Now, Blue's Big City Adventure is an upcoming Blue's Who's and You movie that will be released on Paramount Plus on November 18th. And sometime before that in the fall, we're going to get some official trailers... And we'll be ready to watch Blue's Big City Adventure on Paramount Plus when it happens. So, that's it for my 26th anniversary of Blue School's message video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I don't know what else for me to talk about right now. I don't know if I have any other message videos playing. But I'll, I'll think about them when the time comes. And thank goodness I didn't make any mistakes at all. And... As I said in part one, my afternoon has been very rough because Game Show Network, uh, there's a lot. Contract fight and Queen Elizabeth II lost and now uh, Prince Charles is King Charles III. CNN talked about that all day. Hopefully tomorrow's afternoon will treat me a lot nicer. And the full day of tomorrow as well. So, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.